week. <sighs> I know that he loves me, but sometimes I wonder if that will be enough. I mean, a girl like me should have many admirers. Is it asking too much to want to be worshipped like the goddess that I am? I think not. In the meantime, I will have to make do with the admiration of my one true beloved. And nothing on earth gets admiration like a new string bikini. We now return to the underwater world of Jacques Leduc. These wily yet beautiful reef crabs have a ravenous appetite. They are to be considered quite full of the danger. But my brave son, oh, no. Patois, has nobly volunteered to hypnotize these insane ah. sea dwellers with his tongue. Get them off! Get them off! Ah. No! No! Hi, Annabelle. Gee, you smell good. Kind of like if uh, the Rose Bowl parade exploded or something. Oh, Egg, you say the sweetest things. I would so like it if you would come and join me in some poolside frolicking. It's such a beautiful day, and I would hate to let my new bathing suit go to waste. Kumbaya! A pool party! <laughs> Last one is a rotten egg, Annabelle. Come on! Oh, boy. A day of sunshine and fun. Not a care in the world. <laughs> Annabelle, your family shark dog will never like me. Oh, Ake, he's just very protective of me. But feel secure in the knowledge that Sharky has a new shark dog proof giant. This pool party was a great idea, Annabelle. Gee, Annabelle, it looks like this pool hasn't been cleaned in a long time. It's because none of the pool cleaners have been able to survive Sharky. <coughs> mm -hmm. But, Ake, we don't need a clean pool to have a pool party. All you need is a cute bathing suit. Well, I can't argue with that. Go on, E. Honey. Take my picture. Say cheese. <coughs> Gosh, these cameras are great. Here it comes, Annabelle. Kumbaya, Annabelle! <coughs> Annabelle, where are you? <gasps> I can't see a thing under there. I've got to get help. This is an emergency. <coughs> Please hurry! He's here! He's here! Thanks for coming so quickly, Mr. Leduc. No trouble at all, Monkey We are always on the hunt for challenging underwater explorations. One never knows what creatures one may find in the great mystery of the sea, you see. Well, this particular creature is my girlfriend Annabelle. I hope you can find her. Do not worry, your fuzzy little head, Monkey With the help of the Frug. We will rescue your beloved. We must hurry. Climb aboard, Monkey Now, Monkey do not be alarmed if things appear larger than the real life. Often, the uninitiated will become alarmed at the sheer enormousness of the magnifying phenomenon of these windows. Phew, it's good to know that. This eyeball in the window looks huge. I'd have been really scared if I didn't know it was an illusion. But we are not underwater yet. <laughs> And he's broken his shark dog proof chain. But what? How bad is it? It looks bad. But we should be able to complete our mission if we just keep the calm, like the beautiful Mediterranean beaver fish. Come along, Monkey We will see if the radar has picked up any sign of your friend. So now, beep you let those positive function? Darwellian disco ball spinning nicely. On board the Frug, we have some of the most high-tech tracking equipment ever designed by the going ducks. Blood spooly and pressurizing dingle bells active? I think I found her, sir. It's her. It's Annabelle. I hope she's okay. Put her on the main screen and song. She seems to be adapting nicely to the undersea world. How long will it take for us to get there? 
We are close, but with the damage stabilizers, it will take at least two hours or 15 minutes to get to her. Gee, I hope she doesn't get all shriveled up. In the meantime, we shall explore this strange and magnificent underwater world and the mysteries she has to offer. That strange? I have never seen this species of fish before. That's not a fish. It's Shark Dog, and he's headed right for us. The insane Shark Dog, she is mad with rage. Captain, the stabilizers are broken. We are sinking out of control. Coffee has spilled all over the kitchen. Shh, we must be silent. If we do not make the sounds, the Shark Dog will not know where we are. The Shark Dog has almost passed. Our silence has left us undetected. Say, what is everybody doing in the dark? <coughs> the Shark Dog, she is headed this way! Hang on, men! We must do something! <coughs> <coughs> The terrible rocks! We are headed for them! But toi, we must do something! Father, the oxygen tanks have bursted! We do not have much time left! But toi, you stay here and repair the ship! This brave pussy and I will put on the scuba gear and swim out to save the sunken damsel! Oui, oui, Father! Do not be afraid that this is your first time using the self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. I will guide you every step of the way. I'm ready when you are, Zach. We must help Annabelle. We will now open the airlock and swim gracefully out into the open sea. Come along, pussycat. We must make the haste. Hang on, Annabelle. We're almost there. Nothing can get in our way now. It appears that the magnificent shark dog is more dangerous than we first suspected. We will have to use the most sophisticated in modern underwater equipment. This device has protected me from the man eaters of the Great Burial Reef. Surely it will be enough to stop the insane canine. Hey, Zach, you really think this thing is safe? Do not fear, Monkey The shark cage is in penalty trouble. Well, if you say so, Jacques Leduc. Uh-oh, it's Sharky. You see, the magnificent and elegant shark dog will not be a threat to us. We can observe him in the freedom of the icy depths through the safety of these bars. I am sorry, Kitty. This was an unforeseen and unfortunate circumstance. I have one more idea. You are a brilliant underwater scientist, Zach. There he is, Zach. There's nothing to fear, brave pussycat. Look! Come and get it to carnivorous creature! Hurry! We have not much time! Hi, Annabelle! This is Doc with Doc! Enchanté! <laughs> Kitty, do you realize where we are? Is this heaven? No, but you are close. I have heard legends about such a place, and we have discovered it. Well, what is it? It is the lost city of Shangri-La, and it has been discovered by us, Ixeket. This primitive paradise has obviously never been defiled by modern man. But where is Annabelle? Look over there, mon ami. Footprints. Mon cul! The land has natives. Half a dozen have come, and they have captured Annabelle. Kumbaya! I hope that the primitive people have not armed your sweetheart. We gotta find her. Oui, but we have a problem. There's very little air in the fruit. I must radio back to them. Betwa, 
Inform the brave crew that they must hang on while the rescue party proceeds. You must do everything possible to conserve your oxygen supply. I hope those brave crew ducks will be all right. What a sticky situation. They will be fine. They are highly full of the discipline in emergencies like this. Now, we must find the girl. This way. What do you make of this crazy thing, Jack? Hmm. I think it is some kind of primitive trapping device. <laughs> I can't imagine what sort of animal would be so dim with it to be caught by such a simple and obvious ploy. <laughs> what do you suppose they're saying? I can only hope they are in need of a handkerchief. Otherwise, I think we are in the big trouble. Well, I guess this is it, Jack. Thanks for trying to help me out and save Annabelle. Sorry it had to end up like this. It's all right, brave kitty. I always knew my end would be in the soup. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to start with the weeping. Sure, Jack. <laughs> Your command, my queen. Those are my friends! Cut them down! Oh, as you command, my queen. Ah! <laughs> huh? Do not fear, mon petit Flora! We are here to rescue you! Rescue me? Are you mad? Well, sure, Annabelle. It doesn't look like these natives will hurt you anymore. As a matter of fact, it looks like they really like you. Of course they like me. I'm their queen. Isn't that right, Ub? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. You see, my people have been waiting for the goddess Annapola to protect our people from the bad gods of flood, drought, earthquakes, and chafing rashes. Oh, Ake, these people need me. They worship me. They love me here. Gee, Annabelle, you look pretty loved back home. Oh, Ake, you say the sweetest things, but... But what, Annabelle? Well, since I'm queen, I, I get 40% off a of travel world. Gee, I guess I can't compete with that. Of course you cannot, Eek. She is a woman. They are strange and mysterious creatures. Why don't you stay here, Eek? You can be my... King? Assistant. You must decide quickly, mon ami. We must leave, mon ami. Well, bye, Annabelle. I'm really gonna miss you. But if you're happy here, well, I guess this is where you belong. Oh, Egg, if only I could make you understand what it feels like to be so adored. Well, gee, Annabelle, maybe you can come up and visit sometime. So long. You must go with the tide, my friends. Godspeed to you. Bye! And I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> Do not be sad, my queen. It is time for a most wonderful surprise. A surprise? Why, well, I'm Tickle Pink. I love surprises. What is it? It is time to meet your new husband. My husband? Of course, my queen. Your husband, the king. I can't wear that. Oh, there's actually no wedding involved. You see, in our culture, the queen can only become a goddess after she has been made into a pate and devoured by the king. I like girls. <laughs> it's quite an honor, isn't it? Man, Caesar. Gee, I just wish Annabelle would change her mind. Do not be sad, Ixi Cat. Obviously, it is Annabelle's lot in life to live this primitive existence among these primitive natives in this primitive world. Yeah, but I'm still gonna miss her. Help! Help! Annabelle needs our help! Let's go! Only the king can decide to free you now. 
Your Royal Highness, what do you say? I like girls. <laughs> well, there you have it. Grind her up. Well, how do you become king? Well, you must challenge the current king to a surfing competition off treacherous Gabby Knee Reef. None have ever survived the contest. <laughs> I'll do it! Huh? But, Ike, you've never surfed before. That's okay, Annabelle. I'll do it for you. Besides, how hard can it be? Well, the course goes like this. First, you grab a tsunami and ride into the shark-infested waters. Catch the broken glass pipeline and ride it through sewer treatment comb. Then it's through the barbed wire barnacle pier and back to shore. Oh, Ike, you are brave and majestic. If you do not survive, please remember it is you I have always loved. Gosh. Ready, set, go. <sighs> <laughs> Kumbaya! Hey! Praise be to the new king! My hero! Hail the new king! Well, thank you all, but I'm afraid I can't be your king. I have to get Annabelle and Jock home and help a bunch of endangered aqueducts. So, uh, I elect Ub as your new king. Hail the new king! Hail the new king! Hail the new king! I am sorry to leave this place. I am grateful for the glimpse of paradise. It sure was a beautiful kingdom for me, wasn't it, Ink? Yeah, Annabelle. Maybe you and I could come back for a visit someday. That would be most welcome, O Fuzzhead. But those who leave Shangri-La seldom find their way back to this majestic land. That's too bad, Ub. Gee, that's pretty. What is it, Mr. Ub? <laughs> Well, that represents what we feel our peaceful, tranquil civilization is all about. You see, we are a primitive people. It is said that if the jewel were ever to fall from the maiden's hands, our society would tip over and break, burst into flames and explode. Golly, that would be a shame. Well, we better get a move on and... Pardon me, I... Oops. Allow me, Mr. Rub. Gah! <laughs> He's about to explode. So long, Jacques, and thanks for all your help. Au revoir, mon kiddy. And do not worry about breaking that unique civilization. There are many more mysteries to explore in the mesmerizing depths of the maiden we call the Deep Blue Sea. Look, Annabelle, someone finally cleaned the pool. My goodness, Lake. It looks like Shangri-La's gone forever. Yeah, that's a shame, Annabelle. But at least you're home safe. And best of all, now we can go swimming. Hold it, Lake. Let me take your picture. Say cheese. Ah! 